Hello there Assassins, welcome to another episode of Kingdom of Nostalgia. This is episode number two, and in today's episode, we definitely need a house. This is what we have as a house at the moment. I mean, yeah, uh, the creeper definitely left some devastation, so we certainly need to build ourselves the home. Uh, now, if you refer back to the map, my house is basically the deciding factor for where we're placing all the rest of the buildings in the kingdom. So if I get this wrong, or at least if I place it too close to, say, the river that we know is over this way, then I'm going to be screwed for the rest of the buildings, or I'm going to have to completely smooth that over, and that's going to take forever in survival mode. So we're going to definitely make sure that we get the right placement today. Let's go pick a spot, and then we can get started with the building. This seems like a bigger area. I need to climb a tree so I can get like a bird's eye view. Yeah, we're looking way into the future right now with like trying to pick a location, because I mean, we're only going to get started with the house today. However, this is going to be one of the major, like I said, deciding factors in our entire kingdom. So we need to get this right, definitely. I'm going to, de I've decided, I'm going to do it here. So I'm going to place the wall block here to symbolize the starting position of our home. Pumpkin! Oh, I've been wanting a pumpkin for so long. See, this is why we're supposed to build here. <laughs> for so long. It was literally like the first episode <laughs> that I literally said I wanted one. What would be cool is if we found some pumpkins. I don't know why that would be cool, but it just, I like to find pumpkins. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's, that's glorious. Okay. Well, now we have a pumpkin white wall mascot. Let's go get our bed at least so we can reset our spawn there. And we're going to need to move the chickens as well, which means I'm going to have to bridge across eventually. For now though, we're going to have to keep them there. I'm going to need my crafting table back. Wait, where are my tools? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no way. Ah! <laughs> okay, so I've got to go ahead and grab a double furnace, basically, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to build, obviously, over on that little... Uh, well, not little. <laughs> not really little. But the new island, anyways. I may just take some of those. Are these Lily, Lily of the Valleys? Are they? Yeah, I'm going to take some of these with us. I think there could be some over there anyways, but even so. I'll just pinch some anyways. Fish, fish. Quick. Give me, give me. No, no, no. Fishy. Right, we'll leave the baby one. We don't murder babies. Yet. <coughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> the wolf's been out again. Oh, I can make another bed, but there's no one to sleep in it. <laughs> All right, let's get to bed. Okay, so tomorrow I'm going to start speed building, chopping down some wood. Let's go. Guys, I just had a quick thought. I heard the wolf kind of... woof. <laughs> and I had a thought. We literally got a bone from that salmon. Do you reckon it could be the lucky one? Oh! Oh, it was! It was, it was, it was. Oh my god, we have a dog. Already. We have a dog. Chicken, we have a dog. <laughs> it doesn't care. Oh my god. Yes! Alright, this is wicked. This is really good. Awesome. Right, you sit and guard a tree. Sure. This is your tree now. We'll name it after you. I don't know what we're going to call the dog. Guys, we need some suggestions in the comments below. I should probably go ahead into a mine. See if I can get some iron. And speed up this entire build process by getting some iron tools instead of these uh these little ones oh my god the pup's back the pup i can't tame him at the moment i use my one bone <laughs> oh well guys i literally just came around the back of our little island and i found a beehive and i found some bees pollinating some uh, flowers over here which is brilliant so we have a hive near like nearby that's awesome i'm having no luck trying to find another cave oh here's one i think nice hey we found one i need coal desperately I can make some torches and stuff, but... I mean, I could just get some charcoal for now. I may have to just strip mine a little bit, because I'm not getting lucky with these mines at all. I have been digging for about 20 minutes, not even gonna lie. <laughs> it is now night time, but I made a breakthrough. I have found an actual cave. I've dug into a cave, finally. So, uh, yeah, let's, um, let's hop down here and see what we can find. Oh my god, that is a lot of monsters. Is that, was that a zombie jockey? Again. Oh, it is. I hate these things. Creeper, blow him up. Yeah, blow him up. Thank you. Guys, you did not hear me ask a creeper to blow up a kid. <laughs> I 
I just have a real beef with them. What the f How are you still alive, bro? Not cool. No, no, no. This is my staircase. Get your own. No. Oh, thank God we defeated him. Little menace, that guy. We're going to call him Dennis. Come, come on, get some. Yeah. Give me the bones. Oh, Enderman. Do not need to look him in the face. Well, I do not need another death. I've already had so many in the first episode. We do not need more. Oh my good lord. Everyone wants a piece. Come and get it. Free wheel. Except I'm not free. <laughs> so fight me. Oh, there's another zombie helmet. Wait, I, I might be able to get the helmet for my full set. Do you reckon? It might, it's going to be a rare drop. We, we may have to just like... Oh, take a chance. Okay, there's iron. There's iron. This is good. Oh, no, no, no. We are weak. We are weak. Gold! Hey, I can make my full set now. <laughs> Wicked. I wasn't actually planning on this being a mining episode, but um, it's turning out to be one. There's another zombie with a freaking hat on. Ah! Combat. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, not good. Not good. Oh my god, they can ah. ah! No! <laughs> Stay back! I have an axe! I really need desperately, like, some more stuff. No, 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 I didn't mean to click a shovel! No! I was trying to get a... Oh, no! <laughs> I was trying to get a, um, one of them shield things. I got a shovel. What do I need a shovel for? We need to get up there. There's definitely a spawner. Look at how many zombies are here. Ooh, you wanna go? You wanna go? It's like ping pong. Ooh, yee. Ow. <laughs> I got a little bit too cocky at the end <laughs> Ooh, ooh, deep slate Oh, nice I haven't found it in survival yet That's looking sexy Oh, hello, zombie Villager I would save you and call you Fred But I haven't got, like, a lead or anything like that at the moment I don't know if you can lead villagers Sounds kind of evil sounds, sounds like something the UN would get you in trouble for <laughs> Oh, my word He's got one on his back He's got two kids Ah! <laughs> it's a dad! Ah! <laughs> Alright, right, I'm gonna take you out first. Yeah, screw you. Right, next one. Right, this one. Oh, I feel bad in a way. But also, I remember what happened last episode. Ouch! Exactly like this. He's going back for revenge! Why? This wasn't a zombie uh, villager. A slime? Wicked! Hello! Thank you very much. I need a slime ball. Okay, then let's make a new chest. Right, uh, let's go ahead and plant our carrots and our crops just so we can have a start to our farm. I'm just going to do it here. There's not really much point in making a nice fancy garden for only three things. Okay, guys. Well, that is the end of day... Well, what, what day is this now? I think it's like day four. I'm not sure. I'm going to sleep anyways. Well, assassins, as you can see, I was running around like a headless chicken this episode. I was intending to get the house built or at least planned out this episode um, but then of course I wanted to go mining to get some new tools uh, and then we found a slime and we found a dog and all of the other stuff happened as well it was kind of a crazy episode however it isn't over yet I did stick to my original plan of getting the house at least planned out so I've actually planned it in creative mode just so there wasn't the survival limitations but this will allow me to gain the dimensions I need and then get every single survival material gathered in survival mode of course and then be able to start the house building now what i'd like to do as well is build a tutorial for you guys for my house as well now i'm not sure if you guys want that on creative mode or you'd like it in survival mode if you want to let me know in the comments below maybe we can start a poll and uh, i'll go ahead and build whichever one you guys would prefer me to do but yeah we need to switch worlds otherwise i can't show you Well, here we are.
Welcome, assassins, to my kingdom of nostalgia home. This did take me a long time in creative mode, and uh, I'm really kind of nervous to see how long it's going to take me in survival. <laughs> um, but I'm also very excited. As you can see here, we do have a very, very large structure. I do believe this is going to be the largest thing I have built in survival mode before. So I'm, again, very excited for that. We do have a tour to give you guys. I want to give you the grand tour. As you can see, we do have a watchtower that goes on the back left of the house, and that is really key for getting up to the upper levels. Here's my living room, big fireplace in the back there, and we head up the spiral staircase of the watchtower. That leads us to the second floor with another fireplace. That then has a ladder that leads us up to the attic, where of course we can store some chests and all that sort of stuff. And then back up the spiral staircase, we come up to the turret of the watchtower, which has a well, I kind of folded down trapdoor. I wonder what this is. It is, of course, a leap of faith. <laughs> Being the Assassin's Creed nerd that I am, had to have a leap of faith in my house somewhere. And we have, of course, the hay cart at the bottom there, just to give it that bit more of Assassin's Creed nostalgia too. So yeah, a very big house, and I would definitely like to do a tutorial for you guys as well. Now, don't panic. I know what this looks like. I swear it's not what it looks like. <laughs> Actually, it is. I am destroying the house now, but don't worry. I do have multiple copies of this one, and it is for the reason of getting the materials list. Whereas if you are playing on a PC or something, I'm pretty sure there are mods you can get where you can get your materials list for the build. Now, there may be something like that in PlayStation 4 edition, but I just don't understand it. Um, but I just went with the old-fashioned way of getting everything, which is, of course, mining everything uh, or taking it apart with an axe. So I've gone ahead and literally demolished my house by hand uh, to gather all the materials I need for survival. So this will give me exact amounts of things, and then we can go mining for our deep slate, chopping down some wood for our spruce. By the way, we need to find a spruce biome. <laughs> I decided to make it out of spruce, but we don't live anywhere near a spruce biome. So that could be a fun thing to do next episode. But yeah, I literally had to go ahead and plan the house, um, which took a very long time as well. And then of course, go ahead and destroy it by hand as well, which took definitely around 40 minutes. It was a long, long time. So I'm just gonna cut this down just until I stop talking. So you don't have to watch that entire thing. <laughs> but we definitely need a sign out the front that says no zombie jockeys, because this is not a daycare center. This is my home. And no blooming creepers, because again, I'm not some type of TNT factory that you can just come in and just blow up wherever you like. No, no, no. This is my house. This is where I sleep. This is where I eat my burgers and stuff, you know? So we got to make it clear. Now, before calling it a day in the kingdom, I actually went ahead and used some normal oak planks just to mark out the foundry uh, and the sort of base of our house, really. So it is a very, very big house. When you see the dimensions laid out in survival like this, you kind of realize how big it is going to be and it is going to be mahusive. Um, but that is, of course, good. That's really good. Now, I was just doing the final lot of construction work for today's episode and I just noticed the wandering trader is kind of looming overhead, like spying on me a little bit. Now, I'm not really appreciative of someone spying on me, especially in the kingdom right now when things are so secretive for the building. So, what is he up to? Hey, a hey, wandering trader, come back. I just want to trade. I just want to see what you've got for sale. Hello. That was the most English I've ever heard a villager say. Right, well, nothing really good. You're just going to rip me off for emeralds. Like every other villager ever. Well, I don't have anything to sort of um, lock him up. I don't have any fences on me. So, shall we just, uh, you know, kind of... Ugh. Ow. Oh, that is the worst part. No, 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 no. Oh, get away, get away. Get away. Imagine if we made the death counter like way up again today, just from a blooming llama. That would have sucked. That would have really sucked. <laughs> um, but now we have a pet llama, I guess. If we can find that lead. There it is. Even if we couldn't, we did kill that slime in the first bit of today's episode. So we could always just make one. But hey, look at this. We have a dog now. We have a llama now. We're getting the whole Noah's Ark over here. Guys, do let me know of a name for our llama. Because as you know, I'm awful at making names. Um, but yeah, that is basically it for today's episode. So you guys, if you have enjoyed today's episode, please be sure to drop a like on it. That would be wonderful. 
If you are interested in staying tuned for the rest of the series, there is hopefully going to be an episode weekly, but I don't want to promise too soon because I'm very bad with schedules, but that is what I intend to do. So if you are interested, definitely consider joining the Assassin of today for free by subscribing. And if you are around to check me out on my social medias, please do that too. That would be absolutely awesome. Thank you very much, Assassins. You have an excellent rest of your day. Stay safe. Don't get hit by uh, llamas spitting <laughs> on you. <laughs> and uh, I will see you very shortly for episode number three. Goodbye for now. Thank you so much.